Good morning. The story is told of two brothers in 14th century Belgium who were fighting over the right to rule a dukedom. One of the brothers was a man by the name of Reynald. He had a nickname that was Crassus. Crassus meant fat because Reynald was a very obese man. The other brother was a man by the name of Edward. Well, ultimately, after a battle, Edward won. What was interesting was how he chose to then imprison his brother after the battle. He built a room around Reynald. The room had no bars on the windows. It had no locks on the doors. In fact, it didn't even have a door. It had a doorway that was too small for Crassus to get through in his current condition. In fact, all Crassus needed to do was to diet long enough that he would be able to squeeze through that door and he could go free. But Edward did one more thing. Every day he fed him delicacies and great quantities of food. So Crassus continued to eat. In fact, what we learned was his desire for food was greater than his desire for freedom. And ultimately he remained imprisoned. I thought about how much we are all somewhat like Reynold. We love to do things that we know are not good for us. We're enslaved to them in many ways, and we can't stop doing them. Our desire to continue to pursue the bad habits is greater than our desire to be free of them. The Apostle Paul recognized this. He, he told the Romans, I keep doing the things I don't want to do. I don't do the things I know I should do. I struggle with this. But he told the Philippians, there is a cure for that. He said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I may not have the power to overcome these things on my own, but through Jesus Christ, I can. And to the Colossians, he said, focus your mind on things above, not on earthly things. If we keep our eyes on Jesus, if we focus on the power that he can give us, we can overcome all things, our bad habits, the things that would pull us away. So this week, I want you to think about the state that you find yourself in. What are those habits that keep calling you back, that you know are bad for you, bad for those around you, ruin your relationships, affect your job, affect your well-being? And think about where you can get the power to overcome those. We can do all things through Jesus who strengthens us. There's an interesting ending to the story of Reynald and Edward. Edward was killed in battle 10 years after he imprisoned Reynald. And it was then that Reynald was set free. You see, once his enticer was gone, he was able to be free. The way we get rid of our enticer is to focus on things above and not on the things below. Have a great week this week and get rid of the things that are standing in your way.